What's up guys, Dan de Groter. In this video, I want to break down a beautiful guillotine by Mika Galvão in a recent competition in Brazil. He did this against a black belt, so you know it works at a high level. But when you first look at the guillotine, it might look a little bit weird. He traps both of his opponent's arms. So in this video, I'll explain you guys why and how he got into that, to that position and also how he finished it. So first we'll look at the entry and then we'll go into the finishing mechanics. And of course, we'll end with all the, the things we learned from it. So hope you guys enjoy. So they start uh, standing up and Mika initiates with a beautiful arm drag to an inside trip. Of that takedown his opponent defends, gets back on top, but Mika locks a guillotine and he traps both of the arms. So we'll go into how he, how he managed to trap both of these arms in just a bit, but this is the, the sequence. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Mika takes him down, his opponent counters, so good scrambling by his opponent. Mika traps both of the arms, so his opponent is in a really bad position. Now Mika can put the pressure on it. So how did Mika manage to trap both of these arms? To understand that, we'll have to uh, take a deeper look into the position. So why would his opponent get his arm trapped like this? This is a black belt we're speaking of, so he's not making any stupid mistakes here. He's actually going for a legit move. Mika takes down, his opponent stands up and he goes for that underhook grip on the leg so he's like a, a reverse grip on the leg this is called a funk roll grip and if you want to learn more about the funk roll you should definitely watch the, the video by BJJ Scout and Ben Eskren he's one of the masters of this position so I'll put a link in that uh, for that video right on top here by using that grip you can easily counter your opponent's takedowns Mika knows this so he drops his knee to the side and he uses that arm to trap it so he's using that that uh, that position of the opponent to trap it. He drops his knee to the side and he catches the guillotine. Look how his chest is forward and his butt is backwards. So one more time in this, from this angle. His chest is forward, his butt is backwards. Let's take a, a slower look from this angle. Mika takes down. His opponent immediately bounces back with the momentum and he goes for that front row grip. Mika sees this. He spells back with his knees to the outside, so he's not getting taken down by the funk roll. His chest is far forward. This is an important detail. Your chest should always be in front of your butt when you do guillotines from bottom. His head is also above his opponent's head, making the guillotine possible. And from there, he can start to finish. So how did he finish? Let's take a look at that now. He traps that funk roll arm, and the other arm is also caught. So he goes for arm and guillotine. He's holding the head with his right hand, the arm with his left hand and then he locks his legs around the opponent's body from the other angle. Look how he's squeezing with his right arm. The right arm is on the neck and the left arm is supporting and he's got both of his legs wrapped around his opponent's arms. Okay, for the finish we need to look a little bit more in slow-mo. Drops the knee to the side, falls back, catches the neck and now he throws his left leg over his arm as well. So he's creating a closed position and this is also a very important concept in guillotines. If you just keep a loose guillotine and you don't do anything with your lower body, your opponent is going to escape. They're going to go to the correct side, they're going to flip out. Uh, you don't want any of that. So instead of locking his legs around the body, Mika decides to lock his legs around the arms. And from there he puts on the, the finishing pressure. So how did he actually finish? He's using the pressure of almost like a 10 finger guillotine. Uh, for those who know, you put the head on your chest and then you curl your hands up. And he does the same here. So he gets that arm in gri uh, guillotine grip, he locks both of the legs over the arms. And from there, he's using his chest to keep the top of the head in place. And then he curls up his hands to create the pressure, creating a very strong, nasty grip. Because his opponent's arms are both lock locked, there's no hand fighting, there's no rolling out, there's no escape. And Mika keeps that pressure on and there he gets the tap. Alright, so when you first looked at that sequence, you might think, how, how did this guy end up with both of his arms trapped underneath uh, Mika Galvao's legs? But hopefully, after watching this video, you understand the situation a little bit better. His opponent was going for a funk roll, so you wanted to get that reverse grip on the leg and use that to get out of there. Um, if you want to study more about the funk roll, again, please study uh, the BJJ Scout videos. He did a, uh, did a great series about this. But by using that funk roll grip, Mika had the opportunity to get this uh, crazy guillotine variation. So he anticipated very well by pointing his knee out to the side. So instead of just sprawling back, which would have led to uh, a funk roll counter, he used the knee to the outside and there he landed in the perfect guillotine situation because he had two of the requisites of a, a good guillotine. He had his head higher than his opponent's 
uh, which means it's possible to enter the guillotine. And he kept his chest in front of his butt, which gives him the perfect uh, angle to enter the guillotine and a lot of finishing power without any opportunities for uh, the opponent popping his head out. From there, he locked the guillotine, arm in grips, but with that chest on top of the head, so he could use the pressure of a, of a 10 finger guillotine. Uh, very well executed, uh, very nice to watch from me as well. I, I learned a lot from, from matches like this. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other guillotines you would like me to break down or to have a, a further look at, also leave them in the comments or send them to me in a, in a private message. I'd love to, uh, to make a video about those. Thanks for watching. Bye.